Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Hakuoki. And we are going to do Sano's unrequited love ending. And we got some fairly sad music to bring us into this. So we're in chapter 5, Low Romance. And um, we just had this discussion with Harada about... I'm trying to remember exactly what it was now. I know he was wondering if like, the Shinsengumi... Other members of the Shinsengumi could walk with their head in the light or something like that. And so we said, that's hard to say last time. Um, and this time, we are going to say that's pointless. So we will do that and see what conversation we have. If you're asking if things were better before, then of course the answer would be yes. But I don't know what you think you'll gain by asking yourself that. The war had already started. It's okay to remember how nice the past was, but you can't let yourself get lost in it. <laughs> his eyes. Interesting. You make it seem like you aren't thinking about anything, but you're really doing quite a bit of thinking in there, aren't you? Um, wow, insulting much? What do you mean I don't seem like I think of anything? We're going to war! Of course I'd think about that! Sorry, I didn't mean it to be rude. You're right, though. There's no point in dwelling on the past. I guess I don't get to screw around and act like a kid anymore, huh? He gave me a grin that could only be described as roguish, but there was a deep, painful loneliness in his eyes that was impossible to hide. The last thing Harada wanted to give up on were the good times he'd had acting like a child with Nagakura and Heisuke. They were good times. And then suddenly, shouldn't you be free by now? Well, we'll skip that. So, we picked that same... <coughs> Caught, hit in the back. Uh, so we picked that same pointless option for both the unrequited love and the bad ending. So at the next choice, I guess I say? There's only two options I'm supposed to pick, but we had three choices before. I'm wondering, the one choice is not about drinking, so I wonder if we don't drink with Harada. Now that we were like, well that's pointless. <laughs> Quite possible. I think that might have actually happened. Oh, Yamazaki and Inoue. Both got hurt. Are going to get hurt, I guess, from this point in time. <laughs> Alright, so they're back. Was it after this that the drinking thing happened? I can't remember now. My memory's Garbo. Okay, so they're gonna go out. No, Kiyo's coming, so we, we skipped the whole drinking scene. Alright, random visit from Kiyo Shiranui. Let's see how things go this time around. I will save, though, before we continue. Flash of red. Blink. Hey, you still came back. Okay. Let's save. There we go. We'll come back here next time. Um, so for the unrequited love ending, we need to run away again. So we'll see how far we get before things start changing. <laughs> pew, pew, pew! Okay, so he's shooting. Harada, look out! I had leapt in front of Harada, hoping to protect him with my own body. I think it worked. <laughs> ah! Then I felt many bullets rip right through me. Stop! There's no need for you to get hurt! I'm fine. This is nothing. I'll just heal. Forget about me, Harada! Hurry! Get out of here! I drew out my kadachi as my feet got into position. In the moment, I had felt a little nervous about if I would have any effect against Shirinui and his gun. At least, though, I should be able to buy Harada some time for his escape. Are you suggesting me to sacrifice a woman so I could escape? Are you asking me to do that? Please! I'm not one of the Shinsengumi! If I die, it's not like I'd be a loss to anyone! Basically, Harada, she says you're just in the way. I think this girl just says some messed up things. Ugh. 
For a while, Harada glared at me, clearly vexed, but eventually he ran towards the magistrate. Huh. He actually left. <laughs> what a relief. No matter what happens after this, as long as Harada's life is spared, I'm happy. Jeez, you're gonna make me cry. You're really gonna give yourself up for a human, huh? Are you in love with him or something? Maybe. <laughs> That's none of your business. What's the matter? I'm just looking out for you. Whatever. You're really not worthy enough to fight me, but I'll have some fun with you. Sure, I knew he cackled to himself and then he pointed his gun at me. <laughs> Whoa! Heisuke to the rescue! Chainsaru, are you alright? Heisuke! Ah, uh, what's this? A new challenger? Man, what a bunch of pets, one after the other. Shirat Nui readied his aim, shutting one of his eyes before pulling the trigger. Ha! You idiot! No way a gun like that's gonna work on a fury! Woo! Heisuke then swung his sword towards Shiranui, slashing his shoulders in the process. Go Heisuke! Shiranui jumped back and readied his gun at Heisuke to fire again before... <laughs> you know what? Damn it. Out of bullets. Whatever. I'll be back for you, girl. Send my regards to the wuss from earlier who ran off with his tail tucked under his ass. Hey, wait, you bastard! Heisuke sprinted towards Shiranui, but the demon vanished right before us without a chance for a second look. Wow, Heisuke, thank you so much for coming to the rescue! Was not expecting that, and he actually got a good hit on, on Shiranui. Huh. In a fit of frustration, Heisuke ran around the vicinity to look for Shiranui, but after a while he came back with his head held low with no word. Man, they're so goddamn fast at escaping! You okay, Chizuru? You hurt at all? I'm fine. This is nothing. I'll heal in a bit. I'm surprised you're still a, a fury. Things have kind of calmed down now. What were you doing here? I... Oh, okay. That is her. I thought the fury corps were on a night raid. I called him. I wondered if maybe you did. You were like, I can't do it myself, and you weren't going to take the uh, water of life. Interesting. Harada. Show me your bullet wounds. Um, I'm fine. I'll recover fast. Just shut up and show them to me. <laughs> Harada's tone was biting, far more curt than usual. I flinched as I showed him my bullet wounds. The bloody holes weren't completely gone yet, but the flesh had begun to close up, and it was only a moment before they'd stopped bleeding. However, Harada unwrapped the cloth of white gauze under his shirt before wrapping it around me in an endearing but nervous manner. Um, Harada? You don't have to do that. My wounds will be healed soon. What the hell are you talking about? Even if it heals, it doesn't mean that these things don't hurt you, that you won't bleed. Why were you trying to get me away earlier? Well... You're irreplaceable for the Shinsengumi. If the worst case happened, you would've... Do you really think I wouldn't be there for you? <laughs> Sano, go easy on her. She didn't mean any harm by that. She just didn't want you to get hurt. No, Heisuke. It's fine. But you... Harada, I apologize if what I did was out of line. No. Harada's eyes were heavy with pain, as if he were burdened by mixed feelings, but he didn't say anything to me to truly know. <laughs> huh. What a weird segue that was. Soon after, the Shinsengumi forces were driven out of the Fushimi Magistrate. Everyone had been scattered around the area, but soon we managed to gather at Osaka Castle. The shogunate troops had suffered utter defeat. 
The definitive symbol of the end of the battle was Choshu troops putting up the gold brocade flag, which was reserved for the Imperial troops. The supreme commander of the shogunate, Lord Yoshinobu, had already left for Edo, which meant the Shinsengumi had to follow suit soon after. And then... And then... Oh, this is very pretty. Yukimura, on the 10th, you're going back with Dr. Matsumoto. Yamazaki's been injured badly, and he's in critical condition. And right now, we don't have anyone else available who can practice medicine. Understood. And when you get back to Edo... Wait. Did something happen between you and Harada? Huh? My heart skipped a beat. What do you mean by that? Well, Harada had a talk with me, and he said we should no longer have you involved with the Shinsengumi. Oh? I guess it's to protect her, because he's like, she's just going to keep taking more bullets. <laughs> she stays with us. Considering all the shit that's been happening to us recently, he brought up some good points. But it didn't feel right deciding before talking to you first. <laughs> I guess Harada was still upset about that day. Nothing really happened. I think Harada just said that because he's worried about me. Oh wow, she actually realized I'm so proud. He's a kind man. Hichikata thinned his eyes, trying to see if I had been telling the truth or not, but then... I see. So what's your plan for when you get back to Edo? Is there anyone you can stay with? I guess I'll have to discuss it with Dr. Matsumoto before I can say. Gotcha. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you in the future, just let me know. Okay. Thank you. You're also a very kind man, Toshi. January 10th, 1867. All of us, including the Shinsengumi captains, were off for our intended destinations. In our case, Edo. I thought if I had seen them, it would have been difficult for me to say goodbye, and yet... As the reality began to sink in, I decided I wanted one last look, so I hid and watched in the castle hallway. Oh, it's nice and all that we're heading back to Edo, but here's to a life of nothing to peek at anymore. Ha! Shut up, man. That's all you've been bitching about since last night. Harada and Nagakora were trading banter back and forth as they walked in my direction. Oh, Chizuru, what are you still doing here? Oh, did you come here to see me off? Oh, um... Judging from where your eyes are going, you've come for Sano and not me, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Shin, you are next! Don't take it too personally. Damn it. Why is he always the one who gets the girl and not me? <laughs> oh, Shin! <laughs> it's okay, you're next! Oh, dear, oh dear. Oh. Welp. <laughs> Nagakora walked off, sulking as he dragged his feet. I didn't know you were interested. He didn't even wait for you to answer. Sad sacks always get their heads stuck in the mud. It was true, though. I wanted to see Harada's face for what could be the last time, but... Now that he was standing in front of me, I had nothing to say. My mind went completely blank. Did you get a chance to talk with Hijikata about what to do when you get to Edo? Oh, yes. Um, thanks for looking out for me. There's nothing to thank me for. It should have been a lot earlier for us to let you go free, right? No, it's not like that at all. After all we've been through in the last four years... Being with you guys has been fun. I see. I wish I had been there for you more. But I'm only human. I guess it was a little too much to ask of myself. <laughs> Take care, Chizuru. When you get back to Edo, I hope you find a guy who treats you right and that you live a good life. But judging from the kind of assholes who've been gunning for you, I'm not getting my hopes up. Aw, oh, Harada, no. 
Harada reached out to touch my hair with his soft, gentle fingers, but he stopped himself, drawing his hand back to his side suddenly. I'm, like, choking back tears right now. Ah, this is really getting to me. Ahem. Well, take it easy. He cut himself short and walked off briskly. The small of his back was getting further away. If I had never been a demon, if only I were a normal girl, would I have been able to run after him? Would I have been able to live with him having to watch after me all the time? I quietly shook my head. There was no point in entertaining these thoughts. I was a demon after all. I was different to the kind of girl that Harada would have wanted to protect. Goodbye, Harada. Please be safe, even after you make your way back to Edo. <laughs> wow, that was a legitimate unrequited love ending. That actually felt like it fit the term unrequited love. A lot of the other ones didn't really feel like that, but that one really did. Where it's like, I love you, but I need you to be safe, so farewell. Oh man, that made me so sad. Oh no. He almost reached out to caress her hair and stopped himself. Not even one last head pat. Oh, that was sad. Good grief. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I don't need to cry. I'll be fine. <laughs> you cannot make me cry. Uh. Hmm. That line about, well, I hope you find a nice guy, but considering... The people that are interested in you, I don't have a lot of hope for that. Thanks. Uh, well, bad ending's next, so usually when that happens, somebody dies. Or both. Since the last, the last option is fighting, definitely someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> At least Kyo won't yell at us for not being like his friend. I would never have abandoned him. You're the worst. <sighs> oh boy. Are we done with the depressing music? <laughs> I'm sad enough. Thank you very much. Bleh. No blooms for us. We are at the end with no blooms. Just tears. <laughs> Aw, man. I'm so depressed. <sighs> and I have nothing to look forward to because I have a bad ending now. <laughs> Although maybe because this was so uh, painful to my heart, the next ending won't be as bad. I can hope, right? Live in hope. All right, that was the unrequited love ending. I hope you guys enjoyed being as sad as I am, probably. <laughs> oh, those two are just so sweet, and they do love each other. Meh. All right, but we are done. So, uh, yeah, bad endings next. Hopefully I'll see you over there, guys. Until then, I will see you later.